Hello and welcome. I'm Velenique and thank you for joining me today. If this is the first time that you are seeing my face, I test makeup for mature skins and see how they perform on my skin and then let you know if it would be worth spending your money on buying the products or not. If that sounds like something that you would enjoy watching, won't you please consider subscribing. It would be so awesome to have you as part of the family. And if at the end of the video you've really enjoyed it, won't you give me a thumbs up? I would so appreciate that too. In today's video, I am going to be testing out the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. This product has been all over my socials. I have not watched um, any reviews because I wanted to make my own decision as to how this would work on a mature skin. So I went onto a website called foundation.com and on that website you type in foundations that you generally use and it will give you a color match for the foundation that you're looking for from whichever product it can be. So when I went on it said I should be a number 34 and when I bought number 34 and came home it is very dark for my skin. So I went back to try and find a lighter shade and there were no testers available so I bought number 3 and it's far too light. So what I'm going to do for today's video is I'm going to mix these two colours and see how the foundation works. So right off the bat it is in a lovely glass container and it has a dropper applicator it looks quite interesting this product is infused with um, vitamin c so they say that after about four weeks worth of use you should start to see the benefits of the vitamin c so without further ado let's get this stuff on my face okay i'm going to take one drop of the darker shade oh i think it's going to be a bit much Quite a runny consistency but that kind of makes sense if it's supposed to be a skin tint and I'm going to take a little bit of the um, the lighter shade as well okay just using my sponge I'm gonna mix that up a bit and let's get cracking okay there we go side by side you can see what they look like it is a very very light finish it is very skin like looking I quite like the fact that it does look lovely and dewy, but if I touch it, it actually dries down. It feels like a little bit of a powdery finish. Um, that looks very, very pretty. Doesn't hasn't really covered any of my um, blemishes or sun damage, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be a skin tint, and that looks very pretty. They say that you can work it up to kind of like a medium coverage. Um, so let me do the other side. Okay, there we go. I've done both sides of my face. What I am going to do is I'm going to just kind of have a look and see if I put another layer on the worst of the sun damaged side and just pat it in with my finger if it will cover that damage at all. And let's just see if there is a way of maybe getting a little bit more coverage out. Okay, so I've put two coats on to where my sun damage is, and um, I can still see the spots. So it definitely is a sheer coverage foundation. I'm not too sure how many coats I would have to put on to cover everything, but I think the idea behind this is perhaps this new makeup trend that is a very skin-like and no makeup type of look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly finish my face, and then we will have a look and see what this looks like in natural light. Okay, here I am in natural light. I've had this makeup on for about an hour now and I'm quite surprised to see how quickly it has dried down. It's very much a powdery finish. I'm not crazy about how it has settled into my pores. It almost um, accentuates my pores. But let's see what happens when my natural oils come through a little later during the day. I'm obviously going to do my little odds and ends that I have to do today. And I will check in with you in about seven or eight hours. We'll see you later. So we are seven hours in. It is the end of the day. And I must say I am not enjoying what my skin looks like. I'm going to zoom you in that you can have a closer look with me. Okay, we are quite zoomed in. So firstly, you can have a look on my forehead. The product has definitely settled into um, my forehead lines and in my 11s, the product is um, separated completely. This the bridge of my nose, it's the strangest thing. The product is caked there for some reason. It, it looks very, very thick and it um, is emphasizing my texture. Around my mouth also doesn't look so fantastic. Um, in my lip lines, the product has definitely separated. And then these, this area and this area here, 
the product seems to really exaggerate my skin's texture. In terms of where my pores are on my skin, it also looks very, very exaggerated. Um, oh, no, it doesn't look very good at all. So truth be told, I'm not too sure why this product has the hype that it does. I don't think it lives up to its hype at all. The only great thing about the product is that it definitely has stayed on my skin all day. Um, so maybe yes, long wear. But for everything else, this is definitely not a product that I would um, recommend. I will not use it again. I don't like what my skin looks like. There are better products out there for us with a mature skin. I think if you have absolutely no texture on your skin, no lines, and your skin is as smooth as glass, then maybe this product would work for you. But if you're a mature girl like I am, I would say rather save your money. Well, that's it from me for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, won't you consider subscribing? It would be so awesome to have you as part of the family. And yeah, that's it from me. I am done and dusted for this evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.